quail and chinchillas among the 300 animals. Investigators say a Loudoun County woman was hoarding in deplorable conditions, now facing charges that carry some serious consequences. Tisha Lewis reports. We're told an anonymous tip led to this big buzz. The home is in the Salty neighborhood. In fact, it's right down that driveway. And police say 39 year old Cynthia Peer is no stranger to police. In fact, investigators tell me they've been monitoring this situation for some time and ultimately decided the animals were being abused and living in unhealthy conditions. This is Sky Fox drone video from above the home on the 24,000 block of Trailhead Drive. Here in Aldi, the Loudoun County Department of Animal Services says it took Custody of 367 animals living in unlawful conditions. Animals were told that had been in cages their whole lives, cages that had to be cut in some instances to rescue the animals. Some leave living in feces. Cynthia Peer has been charged with 118 charges for animal cruelty and more, all misdemeanors. Each charge could carry a $1,200 fine and one year in jail. Any idea why this owner had these animals? Uh, I think, you know, some of these, uh, a large portion of the animals are, would be considered agricultural animals. Uh, so I believe the owner stated that she does sell them for that purpose. However, we didn't have any proof of that. Uh, and the, the number of animals in each enclosure would indicate that um, the, the owner was not selling them. It was strictly, uh, had become a hoarding situation. Investigators say most of the animals were rabbits, but there were ducks, chickens, turkeys, sheep, and more. Police say temperatures in one enclosure exceeded 116 degrees. A veterinarian says many of the birds rescued were at the lowest weight to survive. Cynthia Peer is scheduled to appear in court on July 28th.